Hey, Nick from Harvest Profit here. Wanted to walk you through a video of how I think about the ROI on carbon credits, uh, specifically some of the programs that have been making the rounds. And so for the purposes of this, I'm going to assume that we get paid $15 per ton of carbon that's sequestered. We have an interest rate of 4.5%. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually delete all this. So I'll just redo all of the calculations that I have here. And so let's say today is 7-1-2020 and we start getting paid a year from the date of the program. So I'm just going to add 365 days to that date and just copy this formula down. And so we actually would be Let's just do the math. It'd, so yeah, it'd be, it'd be 10 years from the date. So we would have 10 different payments. So we're going to take, we're do absolute cell referencing on this cell to lock it in, divided by 10. I'm gonna copy that over. And then let's say we require a, we'll do like an $8 per acre payment investment. So let's say we need to buy a new strip till bar um, and our payment is going to be $8,000 or $8 an acre over 10 years. So we're going to build one. Um, you get the point. And so I'm going to, this is a series of cash flows we have now. And so we can do two things. We can, we can do the IRR, so the internal rate of return of this series of cash flows. And because we have these sets of dates, we're going to call it, it's gonna be the XIRR formula. So we have XIRR, and then we wanna do our values, our dates, and a guess. So I'm gonna guess this is a 12% rate of return. So 13.4%. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to calculate what the net present value of this whole set of cash flows would be. So we're gonna do the XMPV. So XMPV So we want to do our rate. So we're gonna assume four and a half percent, simply like an operating note, like what's our opportunity cost of the money specifically of this investment or or whatever kind of capital that we we have, um, and so we'll use four and a half percent. And we're gonna wanna pick our values, pick our dates, boom. So this, if we bring all these payments back to today, the net present value of this series of cash flows is $3.87. So that is how I look at and how I calculate the internal rate of return and the net present value of an example carbon credit program.